This is Dr. Dan from Old Diamond Pro, and we're talking a little bit about iron, especially high iron. Now, if you have low iron, that's another topic, but we're talking about people who have high, maybe high normal or out of range iron values. And the reason that's important is because iron out of range is very toxic. And now, obviously, you need, um, you need iron to live, but if it's too high, you're going to have a lot of physiological problems with that, maybe a lot of fatigue or sometimes people develop cancers from, uh, from iron being out of range. So you need a lab test and you're going to test different, different aspects of iron to do it to understand properly what's going on with you. And if you've already eliminated things like cast iron cookware and green drinks that maybe have high iron or a lot of spinach in your diet or some other um, iron source, you've already done that and you still have high iron, then you're going to need a way to get rid of that. And so what we're recommending, instead of just uh, donating blood, which is you know effective up to a point, about 30, uh, uh, about 30 points of uh, iron you can remove, but if you got to get rid of 60 or 70, that's not going to be adequate. So we're recommending something called IP6 and inositol hexaphosphate. So IP6 is a very effective chelator of iron, especially on an empty stomach. And if you do, you know, you take a uh, that first thing in the morning, empty stomach with a big glass of water. Uh, it's going to be effectively bind to that iron and pull it out of your body and it's also going to be less likely to pull uh, other metals like zinc as well. Now one thing that, uh, a side benefit if your uranium is high, and the way the best way to test that would be a hair analysis. If uranium is high, uh, IP6 can also, is one of the only ways that I know of to pull that out of your body. You know, even glutathione apparently is not effective at pulling out uh, uh, uranium or iron for that matter. So, you know, something like IP6 can make a big difference. Now, if you have this high iron issue, you're going to find when you start taking IP6, you probably feel better within a day or two. You know, because it'll immediately start dropping that iron down. And of course, like every good treatment, you need to test, treat, and then retest. So. Go on your uh, IP6, and then you know six weeks or eight weeks later, you need to do a blood test and look once more to see you know is that iron moving in the right direction or not. And if it isn't, then maybe you're not paying attention to the empty stomach and big glass of water, or you're just not getting enough of it. Because if you have to move your iron, you know a couple hundred points like some people do, you're going to need a lot of IP6 to do that. So anyway, that's uh, some basics about iron. And you can always give us a call here at Ovidman Pro and we'll help talk you through anything else you need to know about that. But IP6 is real easy to use and very effective for helping modulate that uh, elevated iron issue. So thanks a lot for listening. Hopefully that was helpful.